Hello, class. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, my internet is very, very slow right now. I don't know about you. It's okay on my end. Maybe because of the rain. Yep, that could be a reason. Okay. So how was your weekend? Was fine. Very quiet. I just stay at home. Just at the night, I go to to eat some pupusas yesterday. But yeah, mine was very quiet. What about you? It was fun. I, I went with my son to the fair. Playland to, Park. To Playland Park. But the cool thing, it was only my son and I. No wife, no mother. <laughs> so, That's cool. So I got my son in all the rights, the, the the good ones. Yeah. He was screaming and some of them like scary, but you know. Because if it was up to my wife, he only do the caballitos only. <laughs> yeah, so, that's cool. Yeah, no, no, no. Get on that one. Get on that one. Get on that one. So it was kind of fun. It was a cool father moment. Father son moment. What about uh what about Anna? Claudia, how was your weekend? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Well, uh, it was, I took advantage and made some personal errands. Uh, during this time, every year, I take the, the time to make all my annual, uh, I don't know if it's correct to say exams. Yes. Mm -hmm. Healthy exam. Okay. Oh, so, okay. okay. On Saturday, it was that time and I was moving from two different uh, uh, places, labor labor laboratory, laboratory, <laughs> Lab <laughs> laboratory, uh, yes, the, I was um, uh, under some testing things, you know, blood, stuff like that. And then I went to the doctor so she reviewed all the things and also she recommended to make another exams so during this week i mean in in those back and forth movements but i this, I, I thought you were going to say mm -hmm. i went to the doctor and guess what he told me guess what he told me <laughs> you know that song that let me let me but sound here in my okay which song you say that that song from Shanita Connor nothing compares to you oh my god the one from Shania Connor yeah remember yeah, he, she I says I went to the to doctor, the doctor and guess guess what she... what he told me. <laughs> yeah I remember that song that's no, a I... good song <laughs> yeah for example, she died recently right mm -hmm. mm. and her son I guess it was like around two months before her death that he died, something like that. Yeah. It's so she had a terrible life. Yeah, I read that. Something like that. I read that. It's sad oh. because she ripped the page, a photo of the uh, Pope. Mm -hmm. But that was back in when 1991, and mm -hmm. that was like, oh my god, you know, and and that destroyed her career. And now that today is so normal. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But then in my case, I went to the doctor, but yeah. <laughs> but guess what? She she told me that I need to <laughs> have fun no matter what you do. Yeah, exactly. I need to have additional exams. So I'm in this week I'm going to do two of them because I must be fast to make them okay. Mm -hmm, fast. So that was my weekend but besides that the family time yesterday having dinner with my family eating pizza and uh, talking just 
having a good time. That was, and of course, making all this stuff for a week and, you know, washing the clothes, cleaning house, and of course, taking the nap, the respective <laughs> nap of the week. <laughs> Do you hand wash or, or in a washing machine? Both. I used to do both because some of my clothes, I prefer to wash them by hand and the other ones with the machine, washing well, machine. What about how you dry them? Oh, no, they dry because they, it's, uh, they hand, the dry washer has, uh, I don't know how to say this, a triple Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that makes them less wet that not using them and then I love sound, light sound. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You know, technology makes you um makes you lazier. Sometimes, uh huh. Because I remember a long time ago when I was single, mm -hmm. I used to pay somebody to wash my clothes. Hand oh, wash. really? And then that person never appeared. You know, sometimes appears, sometimes it doesn't. So I said, okay. So I bought a washer. Mm. And then I was lazy, oh man, to get, you know, to hang the clothes to dry. Oh, come on. Really? So I bought a dryer. <laughs> oh, God. But then I was, oh man, I have to fold my clothes. Oh, man. <laughs> you just keep and on what getting... did you buy? What did you buy? Oh, it's something cool. Wait, hold on. Let me show you. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. A folding this, clothes or what? Yes, it's this thing to fold clothes. Oh, I'm not able to see it right now because it's the background. Mm. Oh, wait, this you, only captures. Do you see? Yeah, your image is going back. Oh, I got it. My goodness. <laughs> you know who has one? Sheldon Cooper. Did you see how he folds his clothes? Yeah, I saw some videos. But But you know, this is amazing. I really, really? recommend you to buy this. Mm -hmm. Because oh. you just put the shirt and you flip, 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 mm -hmm. flip, boom, and then perfectly. I saw some somebody made one. Most of the people made them for card. I don't know if it's. Wait, hold on, hold on. Hi, Rodrigo Antonio. <laughs> he just joined, so I have to get him right now. <laughs> Hello, Rodrigo Antonio. Gosh, someday, someday I will. I will see you <laughs> first. You had a look at him, but so one day he is going to talk to you. Yes, he did. He, last... he, he actually spoke last week, right? He said, no, hi, I think he wasn't. I think he was another one. You don't think it was him? No, I don't think he was the one oh, okay. who answered you. Rodrigo Antonio, if you can see me or hear me, say hi. Or chat. Say hello. <laughs> Are you a spy? No, I'm joking. Oh, come on. <laughs> Are you a spy? Okay. Gosh, have you noticed that every time it rains, it just gets hotter? Yeah, that happened. He, he wrote. He said, hi, teacher. Hi, thank you. So you are listening. Oh, come on, let's see. He did, he chat. Oh, I chat. So he is a real person. <laughs> maybe he's not able to use his camera. Yeah, I imagine, because maybe he's working. Or, mm -hmm. but tell me, <laughs> Adelina, you look different today. What's, why do you look different? Well, I guess I, I think it's because I, I feel uh, kind of tired. Oh, yeah. I think it's that way. That's. Uh, you live in San Salvador, no? Yes, I do. I mean, people who live in San Salvador, yes or no, was there a really stressful traffic today in the afternoon? Actually, yes. Uh, last. Um... Thursday, last Thursday, San Salvador was chaos. collapsed. Yeah. It, yeah. It's a stress when you, it's kind of stressful when you are driving and 
and there's a lot of traffic. It is. Me, yeah. Excuse me, hold on. Hold on, excuse me. I'm sorry, my son just walked in to say good night. <laughs> Yes. No, there was a lot of traffic last last Thursday. It's true. But today, I don't know. There was some people say that um, a truck flipped in Comalapa Street. So that caused the traffic to Los Héroes. Oh, man, it was. From five, five in the afternoon to seven, I was two hours in traffic from from Los Isimiles by Metro Centro to El Hermano Leja, to El Paso de Jaguar. Can you imagine that? Two hours. It was not normal. That's one thing. That's one thing I really wish the government can control because you know how they control everything now? Or they, they are actually making things better? They really need to start controlling the traffic. And, you know, I think, I think they have to stop the imports of the cars. Or, or I don't know, but there's too many cars now. Do you remember like 15 or 20 years ago, everybody, like all the families only had one car? If they had a car. Now everybody has a car in the house. There's no parking, there's traffic. It's crazy, it's hectic. Or even two or three cars. Yes. Mm -hmm. family. Yeah. You know what I, I really I really don't like, I really hate is people who are very ignorant. For example, Friday, my garage is electric. So I leave at six in the morning every Friday, every day at six in the morning because I take my wife to work. So I open the garage and guess what? A car is parked right in front of my, my driveway. So the problem is I don't know that car. So whose car is it? And I feel bad because I don't want to go knocking on every neighbor. Excuse me, is that your car? No, why do you wake me up? You know? So whose car is it, you know? And it was some kid, some kid that went to study there and he was very angry. Oh man, but I really wanted to break that kid's leg right there. <laughs> he was angry because I woke him up and he was blocking me. Poor people. Okay, do you see my screen? Tell me if you see it. Yes. Yes, we do. All right. Yes, you do. Okay, so it says here, instructions, read each passage and the items that follow. Then choose the letter of the best answer for each. So let's read this one. And let me see who can read this for me. Jose Isaias, can you read that for me? Okay, teacher. Give me a second. Sure. Okay. Uh, the Malabar pile horrible usually nests in the fruit trees that bear its food. First, the female enters a hole in the tree and sheds her feather. Oh, then feathers. she and excuse me feathers. Feathers, okay. Then she and her mate seal the hole with mud and dung, leaving a crack through which he fills her. When the chick hatch and her plumage return. She breaks out, wrestling the nest toward the young, which emerge later. 
Okay, first of all, what is a Malabar, uh, Jose Isaias, what is a Malabar Pied Hornbill? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I imagine that maybe a lot of people don't know, but you can get an idea from the reading. And I understand it's complicated. I didn't know what a Malabar Pied Hornbill was until I read this. What is it, class? It's a bird. It's a bird. I think. Yeah, it's some kind of a bird. Yes. But what I'm saying, Jose say yes. I understand that you don't know what a Malabar Pied Hornbill is. I mean, I, I didn't either. But when you continue reading, you get an idea because it says the Malabar Pied Hornbill usually nests in the fruit trees that bear its food. What is nests? Jose Wilfredo, what is nests? They even a term nesting in call centers. What is what? Nests. Nest? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, look at the reading. Okay, do you know what a Malabar pied <laughs> hornbill is? Oh, usually nest. Needle? It's needle. Uh, needle. Mm -hmm. No, but if you notice, it has an S at the end. It's it's a verb. But there's a verb, uh huh? Anida. Yeah, would that be the verb anida? That would be the verb anidar. Yes. Okay, thank you, David. Yes, it's correct. Nest is nido. Nests is also a verb. You see, Jose Isaias, so if you don't know what a Malabar Pied Hornbill is, you if you continue reading, you get the idea. So the Malabar Pied Hornbill usually nests in the fruit trees that bear its food. First, the female enters a hole in the tree and she sheds her feathers. Then she and her mate seal hollow with mud and dung. Do you know what dung is? Is excrement poop, leaving a crack through which he feeds her when the chicks hatch and her plumage returns. She breaks out, releasing the nest to guard the young, <clears throat> which emerge later. <clears throat> so the Malabar Pied Hornbill is probably a Beer. 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 Why not a chicken? <laughs> no. Chicken not seal. A, a chicken? seal. Uh, seal, letter yeah. B. I, I think it's letter B. The, the platform uh, says that yeah, it's a seal. A seal. To me, a seal. This is the, the, the platform says, but uh, I think it's a bird. Well, it oh, technically, it's a seal. Technically, a chicken is a bird too. Do you know what a seal is? Okay. Foca. Mm, yeah, but there's also a type of bird that is a seal. The way that the bird closed the, the that the is nest. a good one seal <laughs> because I made that exercise already in the platform. It's a seal, yes. yes. Yeah. Did you watch you the, the Did you watch Little Mermaid? Mm -hmm. But the original Little Mermaid, not Black Little Mermaid, the the cool Little Mermaid. Did you watch it? Not me. You never watched the cartoon version of the Little Mermaid? Yeah. Are you serious? Nobody here watched The Little Mermaid. 
maybe the one with gifts. They want to do the cartoon version. Did you watch The Lion King? Yes. Okay, if you watch The Lion King, you didn't watch The Little Mermaid. Well, the reason why I'm asking is because she had a friend, the bird, who was a seal. Ariel? Ariel is a seal. There you go. Do you see my screen? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's a seal. But how can you infer that from the lesson? Yes. So according to this, but you know, one thing is very strange because look at what it says. What 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 is the correct? Qual qual era the platform? It was the seal. Seal. I already did it. The, the seal is the okay. correct. Okay. So if you notice one thing, a whole. Bueno, I am una cosa. Malabar pine hornbill. Let's mm -hmm. put the name. By the way, someone from English Corporativo texted me during the weekend and he said that this, uh, we must complete this and the other one. Oh, they do that all the time. Don't worry. Ah, okay. And and I was thinking, yeah, but we haven't seen different things. Yeah, but they need to complete one and two. And uh, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, they always do that. Look, this is, this is the uh, Malabar Pine Hornbill. I'm a cow. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know why. Okay, that's one. And number two, it says, look, sheds her feathers. Focus don't have feathers. So in my opinion, it's a bird. But also that platform is a kiss a seal is wrong. Porque lo más cercano a seal. Mm -hmm. It's a scene. Will that be a mistake for the platform? Remember? Yeah, yes, definitely. I'm going to write this down because mm -hmm. the closest, the uh -huh, closest for the a same. bird is a seagull. Exactly. Exactly. And because of the reading, it says that uh, seal the hole and feed the. the and hole. focus don't have eggs. <laughs> Boom. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Right there. Just that's. Make a hole, huh? that is the most important. What can be said about the Malabar Pied Hornbill Nest? It's a bird, it's a bird. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. What can what's, be said what's number two? What can be said? What, so tell me, what is the Malabar Pied Hornbill Nest? So according to the reading is what? It is padded with feathers. Yes, it's padded with feathers. That cost me a lot to find the correct one because all of them seems to be similar <laughs> in real. Well, yeah, but if you notice here, it's talking about the nest, uh -huh. especially. So, for example, D, it says... Letter D, maybe. No, because it says it's cracks. The nests don't have cracks. Mm -hmm. ah, exactly. okay. The tree has cracks. What are cracks? Cracks is... um. It's like a little opening. For example, you can crack a window, you can crack the glass. You can crack the glass of your phone. If you oh, if you okay. if you drop your phone, sometimes the glass cracks, no? So it, it doesn't necessarily break, but it cracks. The next step is break. Mm -hmm. This is the Malabar Pine Harbor teacher. I put it in the chat. Which one? Oh, there you go. That's I bought a, for letter A. <laughs> that's, that's an ugly bird. So yeah, let's let's do A. Which of the following statements can be inferred? A. The male is afraid of other males and therefore forces his mate into the nest and seals it. 
So according to this story, it's very strange because this bird goes inside the tree. They make a hole. The bird goes inside the tree and they just make a little crack. And they cover it. Wow, can you imagine if mm -hmm. the claustrophobia, man? So okay. uh, which of the following sentence can be inferred? Why do you think they do this? Because the male is afraid of other males and therefore forces his mate to nest and seals it? Maybe. Machista. <laughs> the male is afraid of males or maybe the male is afraid of predators. I think that's... The female is so involved in building her nest that she doesn't realize she's locked herself inside it. The female purposely imprisons herself to lay her eggs. That's the one. Let's see. The female has to keep the males from hurting her babies. So she encloses herself in the nest. Maybe let her see. Maybe let her see. They're all they're all in a way kind of correct. But okay, let's see. A male Malabar pied hornbill probably feeds the eggs through the crack in the nest. Doesn't help the female until she has enclosed herself in the nest. Uses his plumage to guard recent hatched chicks. Doesn't hatch the eggs by keeping them warm with his own body. What do you think it is? Maybe the first one because uh, the male feel the, the female. Yeah, but you know, I, I, continue I, think, doing. I think gay is logical, but how can you feed an egg? Yes. It could be so little possible. B doesn't help the female until she has enclosed herself in the nest. Yes, I would I would I mean I would like to believe as A, but the only thing I don't think is correct here is that feeds yes. the eggs. You can't feed an egg. But let's see, yes, let's it's try not B. Possible. It's too big. Oh, it's D. Doesn't hatch the eggs by keeping them warm with his own body. Letter D, that's right. Okay, this, I don't know why this is B. I, I, I put the, the, the picture teacher, or the number yes. one in, in the chat. This is the Manabar Pine Harbor. No, no, yeah, yeah, I, I saw the picture, but I don't know why it's seal. Yeah, that is the name, seal. Mm -hmm. In the platform, so it's like a mistake. Wait, wait, hold on. That, that is the name of the bird. So that is that is the name of the bird, a seal? It's a, the kind of the bird. The types of bird. That that's the that that's the it's a seal. Yes. Oh. But uh, I was thinking at the beginning that the seal is that. The bird put it around the nest, but yeah, oh, the, I, the kind of the seal. I think this but example it, it, was not very helpful. Yes, it's not clear because you yes. can infer that the, 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 the lecture you yes, the only person you obviously who, infer that it's a bird. Of course, the only person who would actually know this is somebody who studies birds. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Because yes, That's I, true. I don't like yes. these examples. Mm -hmm. Because it would be like five times to understand it. <laughs> yeah, because yes. yeah, the seal doesn't give you any idea here. Any idea. The only idea that I have is because they seal the nest. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, it's, it's... And we say, oh, it must be a bird. <laughs> yeah, the first thing that comes to your mind is bird. Yeah. Yeah, this was not a very good example. I mean, you have to be a, a bird aficionado or something to, to have guessed that. Okay, let's do the reading practice test one.
<clears throat> so let's look at the question. It says, according to the passage, the pet, hey, we did this. Transferring hypothesis. Oh, no, no, we haven't done this. So listen to the questions. This is like the answers we're looking for. According to the passage, the past Permia hypothesis fell out of favor for all of the following reasons, except, and according to the passage, the past mania hypothesis is, hypothesis is, according to the passage, the meteorite found in our tantric, in our tantric, well, Today's not my day. So according to the passage, the meteorite found in Antarctica. Oh, that's why it's misspelled, no? Is that Antarctica? Well, let's see. So let's do the reading. Let me open this. We have... One, two, three, four paragraphs. Adelina, would you like to read the first paragraph, please? Sure. Uh, I'm sorry, and when you finish, you choose the second person, please. Thank you. Okay. The idea that life did not originate on Earth, but was carried here either deliberately or by natural processes had, has its roots at least as far back as the ancient Greeks. This idea often referred to as panspermia took on a scientific form in the work of various 19th century authors. It larger gained widespread popular appeal through the work of the Swedish chemist Svant Arsenius, who argued that spores of light could survive in the space and travel between the star system through the pressure of solar radiation. And the next one is going to be, let's see, Jose Jovito Torres. Okay, second paragraph. It's okay? Yes, please. Okay. The Paspermia hypothesis eventually fill out is a favor for variety of reason. A skip tip point pointing out that microorganisms called to possibilities or by the damage caused by ultraviolet radiation and cosmic rays while beginning to put it out of solar system away for a star. In the, I indeed. Was, indeed, indeed, it was unclear or biological material called escape from the planet by natural process in the first place. Excuse me, I'm is, sorry. It wasn't clear how biological biological Material could escape from the planet by natural processes. Material could escape for uh, play by natural processes. In the first place, it is unprotected. The if. molecules, if if unprotected, the molecules if life load quickly by destroy it by radiation near the ejecting planet. For furthermore, it was not clear how microorganisms having made a journey across the cool distance of interstellar space could have safely descend to the surface of the Earth or any other planet. Artinus himself argued that organisms called inside meteorites world by subject to incandescent temperatures while entering the atmosphere of the third body. So he will destroy any life form looking enough to help survive to this point. Okay. Mr. Jovito, you read Spanish. Hmm. 
y es no no worries but I, I I've noticed that you you're reading Spanish because I know that some words are are complicated yes but some like for example descended descended molecules molecules atmosphere but you um, for example you said atmosphere mm -hmm. atmosphere uh -huh. yeah so be careful practice more because you you are actually reading Spanish atmosphere okay. Okay, so pick the next person, please. Okay. Mm, okay. Okay, okay. Y Claudia Marcela. Okay. Um, despite the seeming unplausibility of the Barnes Premier hypothesis, uh, some theorists. Uh, have resurrected the notion in recent decades since laboratory research has shown that many of the objections to the hypothesis can be overcome. Scientists have shown that micro, 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 how do I say that? Okay, very good. Say it by syllable, say it by parts. Micro? Micro. Or, no, hold on. Wait, My, micro. Micro. Orga. Orga. Nism. Nism. Microorganism. There you go. Okay. Protected from radiation by grains of material could be ejected from a solar system if the repulsive force of the eject, the ejection star ejecting is greater. Star. Ejecting star is greater than the attractive force of the star's gravity. Such ejecting stars cannot be too luminous since bright, bright, brighter stars emit too much ultraviolet radiation for the survival of the bacteria. Organisms can only enter new solar system whose star's pg ratio is low, thus allowing the gravity to pull the microbes into the planetary orbits. According to some resources, material ejected from the planetary system could also eventually become part of an interstellar molecular cloud, which eventually produces a new plan planetary system, as well as a, a large number of comets. Comets can uh, retain, produces a new planetary system I'm oh, sorry, a comment can retain microorganisms protected by other material and water and impact onto new planets, which by then would have cooled sufficiently, sufficiently for the life in the grains to take hold. Good. I know that, don't worry if you hate this, because um, this is not. This is not vocabulary we see every day, correct? Yeah. Yeah, so don't worry. I mean, even for me, I have to double check before I read something because it's complicated um, vocabulary. I understand that. So don't worry. Don't feel bad. But like I told you at the beginning, this is how TOEFL is. Whoever invented TOEFL is a SOB. Mm -hmm. And this TOEFL is like this. I mean, this is universal. Okay, Claudia, can you pick the next person, please? Claudia. Ana Claudia. The other. Okay. Um, since Twitter supporting, right? Okay. For supporting evidence about the further. life, further supporting evidence about the likelihood of survival of bacteria traveling through space and entering a planetary atmosphere has been gained from studies of a meteorite. 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 Meteorite of Martian, origin Martian. from. Mm -hmm. Martian. Martian. Martish, Martish? 
No, Martian origin. Martian. Martian origin found in Antarctic. Antarctic? Antarctica. Antarctica in 1984. Whether or not the meteorite contains fossils of Martian bacteria, and many researchers now seem to reject this possibility, microscopic studies of its internal structure have shown that the interior was not heated for more than 40 degrees Celsius since before leaving the Martian surface. In other words, neither the original impact that must have ejected the rock away from the Martian Martian surface, surface, nor the heat generated by its entry into the Earth's atmosphere did, in fact, melt or vaporize the internal portion of the meteorite. So it's quite possible that any life form that had undergone such a trip could survive. As for the long journey itself, Experiments of our European Space Agent mission have shown that bacterial spores can survive in deep space for at least five years. This is sufficient time for viable interplanetary travel, although not, of course, for interstellar travel. Today, the panspermia hypothesis is being regarded with less septicism. Septicism? Mm -hmm. Than formally, than formally, although the orthodox views is still have life evolved on Earth and possibly other planets in the universe without extraterrestrial input, more and more research is pointing to the possibility. Disability. Disability. Okay, once again, when you did this, first I would recommend two things. Number one, understand every verb, every mm -hmm. word. Okay. And then number two, understand the reading. Mm -hmm. Because like myself, I would have to read this two or three times to I mean, if I'm taking the exam for for TOEFL, I remember that sometimes I was like, what the hell? I, I would read it one or two, three times just to understand it. Mm -hmm. So according to the passage, the panspermia hypothesis fell out of favor for all of the following reasons, except except the potential damage caused by ultra-silent, ultraviolet radiation, the unlikelihood of natural process leading to the injection of biological matter, the probability that here would destroy incoming life forms, Maybe. The knowledge yeah. that life can't exist elsewhere in the universe. No, I, I, I was trying to correct the word, teacher, that here, no, because the probability that here. Yes, is it's wrong. <laughs> yes, but I, I'm not choosing that one. Maybe it's heat, right? Yeah, I think it's heat. Yes, it will yes. be heat. That hate yes. will destroy in common life form. Yes. I will say that maybe we can, because I don't remember to find out something about ultraviolet radiation. <laughs> violet, yes. No, it's yes. Ultraviolet. It, says... it did mention ah, ultraviolet. Ultraviolet. ultraviolet yeah, it yes. mentioned, it mentioned. Uh, Ironically, something it didn't mention is life in other universe, correct? Um, at the end of the paragraph? Today, the perspective is being regarded. No, but, but, but it's denying the life, and uh, that the paragraph don't say that. That is the correct answer. Never Knowledge be. that life is... Because it's saying can't. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's so small. You think it's D? All right, let's leave it. Let's see what that is. D, yes, yes. A according to the passage, the panspermia hypothesis is what? Let it be. Being taken seriously again, I think yes. it's true because yes. it says it in the beginning, correct? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Yeah. In the yeah. last part, when it says that uh, mm -hmm. the, 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 
the interior part of the meteorite is not a, a more key that 40, 50, no, sorry, 28 degrees, something like that. Yeah, it better be. Okay, yeah, yeah, because look, it says here, look at the beginning, it says, mm -hmm. the the second paragraph, it later gained widespread popu popular appeal through the work of Swedish chemist Svante Aritmius. Yes, but the, the, the theoretical, well, okay, but this letter B, yes. According to the passage, the meteorite, <laughs> Meteorite, meteorite, I'm sorry. Meteorite. Because it's a meteor meteorite. Meteorite found in our in Antarctica. Let there be again. My contain bacteria fossil. Yes. This was interesting. I didn't know that they found fossils from Mars. They not found fossils, they found the possibility. The possibility. Will be, yes, yes. But my, my big question is, how do they know it's from Mars? Hmm. And, and another question is, there is no, they are not found life in Mars. How yeah. bring life from Mars? According to the passage, what can be- There is the other reading. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, but I have a curiosity. Number one is number three. Which one did you select? Letter B. B. Yes. Ah, okay. Bacteria possible. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. My cool. goodness, in those type of readings, are we going to find the double? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, but that's yes. wrong. Yes, that's what I told you. Believe it or not, I don't know who invented TOEFL. Mm -hmm. I hate that person. <laughs> because even, even for native speakers, it's complicated. Like, for example, these readings are complicated. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's, it's vocabulary we have never used. Mm -hmm. Scientists vocabulary. Yes, meteorites. and like, mm -hmm. I mean, this is something maybe a scientist would use. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, like, but since this is a preparation to the TOEFL, now you know what to expect. Mm -hmm. So, what I would recommend to you is number one, un understand every word, mm -hmm. and then try to understand the concept. It's like the previous reading, you know, like it started talking about this type of bird that nobody. I think nobody in this class has heard of. That was that that reading is only for a bird expert or a. Mm -hmm. it, it a zoologist or something. <laughs> okay, let's do the second reading. It says. Ocean energy systems. I'm going to read it. So it says, in recent years, the oceans have been seen as potential source of energy. Oceans are huge reservoirs of renewable energy, which have yet to be properly harnessed. Some estimates say that during the second decade of this century, Ocean energy sources will generate more than 1,000 megawatts of electricity, which is enough to power a million homes in the industrialized world. Several technologies have been developed for exploiting these resources in a practical way, among which Ocean's Thermal Energies Conversion, OTEC, O-T-E-C, is one of the most promising. Experimental OTEC plants have been constructed using differently different operating principles, 
Although as yet no large scale commercially viable plants has been launched. The basic operation behind this system uses the heat energy stored in the oceans as a source of power. The plant exploits the difference in water temperatures between the warm surface water heated by the sun and the colder waters found at the ocean's depths. A minimum temperature difference of 20 degrees Celsius between surface and depths is required for efficient operation. And this situation is typically found in tropical and subtropical regions of the world. There are two basic kinds of OTEC system. The open cycle, all of this is blocking me. The open cycle systems and the closed cycle system. In the open cycle system, the warm surface water is convert converted into steam and partial vacuum, and this steam drives a turbine connected to an electrical generator. In a closed cycle system, the warm surface water is used to boil a fluid such as an ammonia, which has a low boiling point. In both systems, cold water pumped up from the ocean depths condenses the vapor. In the open system, the steam is condensed back into a liquid by cold water pumped from deep ocean and then the discharge. In the closed system, the condensed anomia is used to repeat the cycle continuously. Various hybrid systems using the characteristics of both open and closed cycle plants have been designed. The OTEC system is potentially an important source of clean renewable energy which could significantly reduce our reliance on fossils, fuels, and nuclear fission. Unlike other forms of renewable energy, such as those provided directly by the sun and wind, OTEC plants can generate power 24 hours per day, 365 days per year. Furthermore, the design of this technology avoids any significant release of carbon dioxide into atmosphere. OTEC can offer important benefits apart from the power production. Aquaculture is one important spinoff. It may also be economically feasible to extract minerals from pumped seawater, freshwater for drinking, irrigation, and another byproduct. This will be as this will be an important advantage in regions where fresh water is limited. Some drawback, some drawbacks to this form of generation have been noted. Perhaps the biggest drawback and at present is high capital cost of initial constructions due mainly to the expense of the large pipeline used to pump water from 1,000 meters below the surface. Furthermore, the conversion of thermal to electrical energy in OTEC systems work at a very low efficiency, which means that these plants will have to use a lot of water to generate practical amounts of power grid. For this reason, the net power output is reduced since a significant portion of the output must be used to pump water. There are also potential ecological drawbacks. Since the water discharges will change the water temperature and disturb some marine habits, this impact could, however, be minimized by water discharge at greater depths. The main obstacle created by high initial expenses will have to be met before OTEC competes with conventional alternatives, and until such time, OTEC will remain restricted experimental plants. When technology permits lower startup costs, this technology will make an important contribution to the energy requirement. Blah, blah, blah. Now, let me explain one thing to you. This was very complicated. Yes, I know. This is like quinto año de ingeniería, man. <laughs> that, like, that maybe only an engineer can understand this reading. But... Because imagine, today we studied about 
about birds, water, and what was the previous one? Aspermia. Uh huh. That. Aspermia. I mean, we can't learn absolutely about all that in one day. Especially, it's very complicated. But the objective of this class is for you to get the idea of how the exam is going to be. So, yes, the stories in the exam are a little bit easier. But this is just to give you the idea. You have to understand the words. You have to understand the concept. Look at what it doesn't mention. Look at what it mostly talks about. Yes. So, let's... Oh, man. Wait, wait, oh, let me erase this. And we have a lot of readings. <laughs> so, listen, according to the passage, what can be inferred about the factors that allow the ocean? Ocean. No, Sheena. <laughs> to be used as an energy source. The plants are typically found in tropical and subtropical regions of the world because of the warm water. According to the passage, in what way are man? DSP. Yeah, whoever done this exam mm -hmm. is di dilexic. Yes. <laughs> no, really, no, I, I think it's <laughs> look because look at here. According to the passage, what can be inferred about the factor that allows the ocean? Huh? It's ocean. So, eso lo vio al revés. That is, that, that is dyslexia. For example, here, according to the passage, in what way are the basic mm -hmm. kinds of OTEC systems similar? They use cold water to cause condens condensation. Ah, esa es la leche condensada, entonces. <laughs> so I always, I always wondered what that was. According to the passage, all of the following are problems with all tech systems as power generating systems, except the damage caused to fishing grounds. Okay. Okay, class, we'll continue a little bit about, uh, we'll, cont we'll finish the readings tomorrow because there's a lot of readings. Okay. 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 Thank you very okay. much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye now. Good night.